Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Just wanted to get on here to make a quick video to update you on a milestone that I just hit. Um, I have fasted every single day for the last 365 days. So it's been an entire year that I have fasted. Um, I track my fast through the app called Zero, And um, I was looking back and the shortest fast that I ever documented was a 12 hour fast. Um, definitely not the norm, but usually that was probably due to me being with family somewhere and, um, I was up late eating and then we ended up going to breakfast together the next morning. Uh, but I would say I, I was trying to look to see if there was an average over that, um, length of time. Uh, but there wasn't at least that I can figure out. And so usually it gives you averages per month. Uh, I would say the average fast for me was around the 17 hour mark just because there was quite a few 16s, but there was also quite a few 19, 20s, and, and, and um, a couple of uh, 24, 25 um, hour fast within those. And so I would say the average fast for me was probably looking around 17 hours a day. Um, so some of my thoughts on it, uh, a lot of controversy regarding this topic, uh, but for me, it was a health related issue. And so for me, a lot of you guys know, I had an elevated A1C, hemoglobin A1C of 5.8%. Uh, just from really honestly a, a lifestyle of not really caring or investing in my health, and so um, I needed to make I needed to make a radical change. And so during the first couple of months of 2022, I took this very seriously. I was fasting 18 to 19 hours a day. I was um, pretty much working on a ketogenic diet for the most part, um, in the sense that my carb count was less than 50 grams of carbs within a day, and most days it was less than 30. And I did that pretty strong for about uh, three months, I would say, and um, documented that, went and got my blood work checked, actually a couple of days before I pro uh, proposed to Holland, and the A1C dropped from a 5.8 to 5.4%, so a drastic decrease in that. Um, my fasting insulin at the time was, I think, 2.2. .2. Uh, no, no, I'm so sorry. It was 6.1, and it dropped to 2.2, .2, so... Uh, my CRP was completely undetectable, so I have what's, uh, none whatsoever. I have no inflammation whatsoever um, that was present. Um, blood pressures were looking really good, and so I was really happy and just wanted to perpetuate that. Now, the big controversy regarding what I have been doing is lean muscle mass or losing strength, losing muscle, doing the things that I'm doing, partaking in the activities that I'm partaking in, which is fasting. Um, I personally have not experience that whatsoever. Um, there could be an argument as to the amount of weight that I've lost. I think it's somewhat negligible. Um, I'm someone who exercises three to four times a week. I am weight training, resistance training three to four times a week. And so maybe for somebody who doesn't work out as much, uh, this is a problem for you. Or maybe if you're someone who's attempting to compete and be the strongest person you possibly can be, Maybe this isn't for you, but um, I'm just interested in uh, staying healthy, staying active, making sure I have enough muscle, making sure I am in shape um, for the most part. And my physique is enough, and my physique certainly is enough. Uh, so I have, um, as you can tell, I'm obviously not small. I have uh, basically lost, I don't know, well, this last month has been a little bit tricky. Tricky. So when I was in Des Moines, Iowa, working there, I was going to the gym fairly consistently four days a week because I was on day shift. Um, the gym was extremely close and uh, I just really worked with my schedule. I figured out a groove where I can hit the gym the three days that I was off because I worked basically four days a week. Um, so I would work out definitely the three days that I was off and then I would have to figure out a day where I go to the gym after um, the hospital. And I was able to do that. And so when I was living in Iowa, I was right about 181 pounds, which is pretty lean for me, um, while still keeping on a, quite a substantial bit of muscle. Now, since I have been here in California, I am on night shift. And so it's made it really tricky with going to the gym. And so honestly, since I've been here the last two months, I have been going to the gym somewhere around two to three times a week, unfortunately. So I have seen some muscle loss, but it was not due to fasting in my opinion, because I have been fasting an entire year and I've been able to maintain that muscle. So for me, it's just been a lack of exercising. So right now I'm sitting at 
maybe 174 pounds. So arguably I've lost eight pounds. And I think a lot of that is muscle just because um, the lack of time I've spent participating in resistance training. And so I uh, just wanted to update you guys, wanted to document that for you, uh, get some of my thoughts and opinions on it. I absolutely enjoy it now. Uh, will I do this forever? I think it has made me more conscious of what I'm eating. So basically I only eat twice a day. I eat two meals a day and I typically now just attempt to keep my carbs less than 100, 100 um, per day, essentially. I don't try to go over that. There are instances where I will, if we're celebrating some event. Uh, but for the most part, 100 and lower is where I like to be, which would be considered more low carb. Um, not necessarily ketogenic at all. And uh, I think that's where I'm going to stay. So probably what I'll do is I will stick to maybe the um, 14 to 16 hour fast, meaning I'm just going to be very conscious of what I'm eating. I'm not going to be snacking around. And when I eat, I'll eat. And then um, we'll leave it at that. And I think 14 to 16 hours a day gives my body adequate time to just sort of take a break. Um, I don't really think we need to be eating all day, every day. And I think that's what has uh, perpetuated this um, epidemic that is um, seen to be almost ubiquitous around America, which is obesity and type 2 diabetes. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I uh, just wanted to mention that I uh, hit a milestone of mine, 300 and actually today it's 370 fast total. So over a year of fasting consistently, still been able to put on gains in the, in the, in the gym by uh, making sure that I'm adequately eating during the time periods in which I was allowed to. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't have some eating disorder or anything, so I made it out just fine. And um, hopefully you guys will too. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one.